So for those of you who are only watching for like my Walking Dead stuff, I apologize for this video being late. If you don't know, I'm a full-time student, and on Wednesday my classes end like like really late. Like I read this chapter like four in the morning, hoping you know, because I was doing a paper, and, you know, hoping that I could do a review, you know, in like a few hours before I have to leave, because I have to leave very early. But you know, that didn't end up happening because dear Jesus, I don't know why I was up so late doing a paper. Regardless, the chap, this issue of Walking Dead issue 146 came out. And it was, I enjoyed it a lot, so let's get into it. And again, I'm sorry for this late review. So with issue 146, it's the second issue in this new arc. And not only that, it has a cover of Maggie and Rick beating each other up. A lot of people predicted, oh, something's going to go down between the two. And it, something did go down, but it was more of like a frustration thing going down rather than like conflict of power. You know, something like that. Because we see in this issue, and like, I, it's been, it's just been building up to this in the past issues where Rick, honestly, he wants to go to, you know, he wants to get rid of the whispers, but he realized he can't because it's going to endanger, you know, everything that he's built and, you know, just like putting everyone in danger. But, you know, also, also at the same time, it's like, I don't think the people give a shit if they are in danger because they just want to get revenge for, like, all their loved ones, their friends, their families, you know for what the Whisperers did to them. And then you have all these people saying that, you know, Maggie's a better leader because Maggie knows how to do all these things when it's necessary because, you know, she executed Gregory. And thing is, you know, Rick's like, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that and this? And then, they, you know, they, stand, they end up fighting and, you know, Rick's gotten to an older age so he can't really take as many punches as he used to. And, you know, it's 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 interesting to see this because you know it's not necessarily they have beef with one another like they're like trying to square up with like yo fist fight you know it's honestly it's just so much is going on it's just that no one no honestly knows how to do to deal with the situation at hand you know in the right way where you know everything stays the same but you know they also get revenge and you know they end up hugging it out after you know their conflict with one another and it's great to see that because remember Maggie is probably like the second like Maggie and Andrea are like the second like last longing members of Rick's group because nearly everyone else has died along the way in some shape or form and you know Maggie, Andrea, Michonne, they're like Eugene, Carl like they're basically the last ones and it's kind of depressing to you know when you when like I'm talking about it but you know it's also really crazy because you know like I, like both Maggie and Rick are surrounded by totally different people and you know like from when they started to the point where they are now so it's definitely interesting to see that and, you know just seeing them hug it out because you know since the time skip they haven't really had much interactions like 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 interaction like a, as a family interaction as leaders but not as a family so it was nice seeing this but I wanted to talk about something and it's I've been noticing this in the past few issues at least since the time skip is that Rick, you know, whenever he talks about, like, Alexandria and, you know, just the communities, he always says he's built it. Like, he uses I built this. Everything I built, what if it all comes come crumbling down? Because remember, I built this, right? It's just, like, this, I guess, alpha male kind of dominance sort of thing, I feel like, where it's, like, it's going to bite him in the butt because I feel like maybe Maggie, maybe Magna would be like, you built this? And no, it's like, we built this, you know? You, without us, this would never have been here, you know, stuff like that. So it's definitely really interesting to see if they go, if, like, Kirkman uh, goes anywhere with this. Because, like I said, I don't, you know, no other character has mentioned it. And it's just, you know, Rick being like, oh, I built this. And I feel like the biggest thing that you can take from this issue and move on to, you know, the next few issues and, you know, to, to the extent of this entire arc is those last few panels where we have Eugene, Rick, and, you know, and just just talking about how, you know, how Rosita was pregnant, but it wasn't Eugene's baby. And it's just, you know, like going back and forth about all this. And then, you know, he wants to get blood, but he realized at the same time that they need a strategy and they can't go in blind. And, you know, he he realized, he says to Rick and Andre, be like, we have one advantage over the whispers that they don't know about or, you know, that, you know, that we can use. And that's that they have that, like, they have Lydia, you know, the Alpha's daughter. The thing is, I feel like Eugene and Carl probably has, like, the best character development out of, like, the entire series of The Walking Dead. Because, remember, Eugene, you know, you can watch this in the show if you don't feel like reading it. 
he he was a complete wuss at the beginning. Remember, he lied about everything, and you see him now. He's probably like the smartest dude. You know, Rick knows, and not only that, you know, he he's just ch like totally changed as a character. But what is Eugene totally gonna do with Lydia? Like, is he gonna like threaten to kill her or whatever it is? Because I'm pretty sure Carl's not gonna let that slide. Because remember, Carl brought Lydia here to to the safe zone, so she doesn't get hurt. So it's uh, there's gonna be some conflict between two characters, and you know just. Ooh, so yeah, I think I'm 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 gonna end it there because I feel like that's my prediction. Where you know maybe Rick or not Rick, maybe like Eugene and Carl are gonna get into a fist fight. Who knows? But yeah, I honestly thought that was a great issue. I enjoyed reading from front to back. I thought none of it was like filler nonsense. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on this issue. Let me know yours down in the comments below. What do you think Eugene is gonna do with Lydia? Do you think he's gonna threaten to kill her, rape her, whatever? How far do you think Eugene will go to you know use Lydia to get revenge on the Whispers? So let me know. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. And I will see you guys all next time on Sunday, this Sunday, by the time, you know, whenever Fear the Walking Dead episode 3 comes out, if you guys have been watching that. I'll see you guys when that comes out. So until then, bye bye